This is the X Vive U4, and it will single handedly make our stage look so much better. Let me explain. This is what our stage currently looks like with the P16s set out for us to use on the stage. They're personal monitoring systems that we can plug into and dial in a mix. I want to get rid of the P16s. I don't want to get rid of them and not use them. I want to get them off the stage. I've got to get these off the stage because I think it'll just make everything look so much cleaner and so much better. And there are a few ways that we could do this. We could run an eight really long eighth inch cable from backstage all the way up to where the musician uses it. Why eat? Just get out of here. That's probably not a good idea. Then I thought that we could use a system like the Shure P3RA using these and their transmitters, put the transmitters in a rack mount box and then run a cable to, actually I'd have to run two cables from that to the P16. That would be a really nice system to go with. This is what we use for our vocals. Um, but they're like seven or $800 each, the, the, a single system. So that would cost us like $2,400 just to have these off the stage. That is not an option for us right now, maybe in the future. Then I learned about the X5 V4. I actually learned about it through a band member of mine that bought one, started connecting it to his P16 that sits right up there on stage with him. And I was like, wow, that's actually a good idea. Not even a week or two later, X5 reached out to us and said, hey, do you want to do a video about it? I said, absolutely. I think this would be a great solution for something I've been wanting to do. Yes, send us one. I want to talk about it. So let's go talk about it. You've probably already seen the X5U4, but if you haven't, I want to introduce you. So the X5U4 is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless so that we can use it anywhere. It has a 90 foot working range. We'll test that in just a little bit. It has five hours of battery life, which is kind of nice. And it has six channels that are selectable on the transmitter and receiver that you can use. I kind of wish it had eight. Also another thing with the charging, it has a USB micro. Uh, port on the side, not a USB-C. Not a fan of that, but that's okay. The next version needs to have USB-C. This is actually the bundle that I was sent by X5. It comes in this nice, like, hard case um, with a nice zipper on it. So if you're trying to travel with it, that's kind of cool to have. And then on the inside, of course, you have nicely set in, you have your belt pack, which is your receiver. And I'm telling you, this thing, if you haven't held this, it's actually rather sturdy and just feels so good in the hand. The fit and finish is really nice on this thing. And then you have the transmitter over here. Also just going to give you that same sturdy fit, nice, nice fit and finish feel, which I like. Um, and then that's kind of cool that it has this little protector just to keep it nice. And then we also have the adapter that it comes with. The bundle also comes with a set of T9 uh, X5 T9 in-ears. Um, I've actually used them a couple times to test them out and they're uh, they're pretty nice. They sound really good. Here, I'll show you what they look like. They kind of look like customs with um, little like normal rubber tips on the back. There they are right there. Pretty cool. I will be using these to test them later uh, just so I can give you a little bit better idea what they sound like. From the looks of it though with the adapter, it kind of looks like it's only in mono. So I don't think it's gonna give you a stereo signal. That's one thing that we're gonna test. Once we get everything set up on the stage or actually off the back of the stage, uh, we'll plug this in and see what kind of signal we're getting uh, from this, whether it's stereo or not. So I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see that. If it's not stereo, that's okay because look how small this system is. This is basically the whole system fitting in the palms of my hands. That's kind of why I give it a, uh, a pass on being mono only because right here in this little case is your entire wireless inner system other than your in-ears themselves. By the bundle, you got some of those too. The button layout is actually really nice and very easy to understand. So here's the belt pack. On the back of this, on the top of it rather, is your on and off switch. The on and off switch though is raised off the back so I'm, I would be kind of nervous that I would accidentally hit that. And it has a really nice uh, volume knob that is kind of stiff to turn, but that's a good thing because on my other Shure system, 
the volume knob is way too easy to turn. And your channel select is right here and it's pretty simple. You just press the button and it changes the channel. This button is kind of flush, so I don't think you're gonna get like many times where that button's gonna get pressed, especially if it's hanging like on your belt or on the side of a pocket. Really nice clip on the back. That's like a really stiff spring form clip. Very wide, very normal and natural looking. And then on the transmitter you have, I don't know what this looks like. It looks strange, doesn't it? But it's really nice. Um, like I said, it does feel like sturdy, like it's not gonna break. And it's small enough to where it can fit right in the back of a mixer. I love that you can just go straight to the back of your board, plug it in, and now you have an inner system directly out of the back of a board, as well as a stage box or wherever you need to put this. Uh, of course, we're gonna use it off the back of the P16. It's m small enough and strong enough, you can use it just about anywhere. It has nice buttons on the top, as you can see there, and they're you know pretty tactile, so you know what you're doing there. Turn the power on, and you select what channel your belt pack is on. Just make sure those say the same channel, you're good to go. So the charging is kind of cool. It does give you this double cable. I just got to show it. I just, I think it's something that's pretty thought out. So that way you don't have to go source a dual charging cable or anything like that. Just plug it into both. Of course, not USB-C, so I can't just jam it in there. And then you got one cable, plug that into the wall somewhere and you're good to go. Enough about the X5, we gotta go get those things off the stage and let's get this hooked up so we can listen to it. I want you to hear it and tell me what you think about it. It's now time to test the audio of the U4 system. We got rain on the roof as you can hear, but hey, we're just gonna press through. Um, I got you guys in your own U4 system right here. It's going into the little DJI thing, so that way you can hear directly what this sounds like. We have music coming from front of house, that way you can hear like the actual quality of the sound. It's running to the P16 in the back, and then our X5 transmitter is transmitting that audio straight into our ears. I'm using the T9 headphones, also by X5. These come in that bundle kit that I was talking about, and they look great. So let's see how they sound. At the P16, we have both systems, yours and mine, running, uh, I think we got this one on channel three. This one's on channel four. So they should be able to work simultaneously without interfering with each other. That's also another test, I guess, that we're running. Uh, we are using the adapter. As you can see there, we're going straight into the back, the headphone jack of the P16. And then I have both of them set uh, on the board on channel 14. So we just have some music running to channel 14 on the P16 from the front of house. And for some reason, this one doesn't have a label. Ha, look at here, I have a label for it. These labels can be printed onto sticky paper and they're perfectly sized for the P16. And I have a link below, so you can go check that out. So. There you go. That's for you, Jackson. Jackson is our electric guitarist, and this is the P16 he uses. And I took off his old label because it was trashy looking. So we got him a new label. You can find this in the link below. Go check it out. All right, so we have, like I said, on channel 14, the audio levels are set identical, and also our output audio level is set identical. One thing we're gonna test before we get up on stage is I just wanna verify that they are not stereo because it looks like the, the adapter, the quarter inch to XLR adapter is not TRS. So that leads me to believe it's not gonna be in stereo. Maybe I'm wrong, but more than likely it's not. I'm gonna select this channel. I'm gonna do, go to the pan encoder let's just go ahead and do it on both of them and let's pan it to the left it got louder in both ears pan it to the right and it's gone forever oh well so i'm upstage now still sounds good oh i'm getting some interference
It kind of makes me wonder if the interference is because I'm on channel three. Let me turn this one off. It kind of makes me wonder if the interference is because I'm on channel three and the other one is on channel four. So let's go switch those to channel three and channel five or something like that, see what it does. That is much better. What do you think? Oh, you can't hear it. <laughs> you can hear it though, watching this. This is as far as I would probably go anyway, unless your stage is just massive. Let's just start walking and see what happens. All right, still sounds good. I do hear some breakup. I don't know if both are exa exactly the same. Well, the music stopped, so. I don't know if both are exactly the same because one's here and one's here, but I am hearing a little bit of breakup. We're probably, what do you say, 20? No, no, no. We're like maybe 60 feet from it right now. All right, let's go. It said it's good for 90 feet, and that's probably 90 feet without obstruction. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's getting weak. All right, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weak up here. Hey, we're like in this little nook lobby area. That ain't bad, that ain't bad. Let's go back up here. Yeah, it got much clearer as we got back toward the stage. It sounds really good right here. Like, this is where I would use it if I did use these. As you can tell, you know, our stage is kind of small. It's 32 by 16 feet. Um, and then we went roughly 90 feet and started getting some breakup. So I would say that's a pretty good test and our setup, they're literally right next to each other. I did find it a little bit better when we went one on channel three and one on channel five. So that would probably mean that if you have six channels that are available and six people on your stage are trying to use them in separate channels, I just, I don't know. I don't know if, if that's the best choice. You'd have to test it for yourself. But I mean, it sounds pretty good, especially for the price and especially for the convenience. Yes, the portability is awesome with this thing. And I think our stage benefits from not having those P16s on the stage, taking up the unnecessary space that they took up. This is a great solution for that. We might upgrade in the future, but for now, yeah, I like this a lot. And I can take it with me if I go somewhere. You know, if you go play somewhere and you're unsure how their in-ear monitor system will work, especially like those camps and things like that. Also, the headphones, I told you I'd do a simple review of those. They sounded really good. Now they are $190 by themselves. If you buy them outside of the bundle, I would just recommend get the bundle. If you're gonna get this thing, get the bundle, get the headphones. They're a great set of backup headphones if you're running custom IEMs. They're, like I said, they're $190, so they're gonna compete with some really good non-custom IMs. And I think they compete pretty well. They are a little bit bassy for my personal preference, um, but I do like them. Cable's really nice. They fit well in my ears. They cancel out sound naturally pretty well. They have a little, the neck tie, you know, or the neck thing to tighten it up. None of them hardly offer that. Hey, that's worth $190 in and of itself. The cable's a good length, you know, you know great fit. So. I, I definitely would recommend getting the bundle that would include these. So yeah, there's your T9 headphones that come with it. Anyway guys, if you want to get this bundle, I have links below. If you wanna get the U4 by itself, I have a link below, or the headphones by themselves, I have a link below. So, a link's below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, great worship leaders are always learning. I gotta go plug this back in, Carlos plays bass with us and uh, this is what he is going to be using now. Anyway, let's go.